So hello YouTube. Welcome back. I'm doing another video here about a custom binding of a comic. Um, as usual, this video is slightly different to most of the ones you'll find on YouTube, in particular because this custom binding isn't a matter of collecting various single issues into one bound hardcover. What I'm doing is taking an existing trade paperback that's never been released as a hardcover and converting it into a hardcover. And that also includes designing a dust jacket to go with it. Now, just to get us started, I'll show you my new 52 collection of hardcovers, um, which is something to take some pride in. You'll see here, this is only part of the collection, and the reading order, I'll admit, is a little bit eclectic. Um, in a later video, at some point, I'll probably do something about reading orders and why I've chosen this one. But as you can see, oh wait, oh no, we have a problem. And the problem we have is that one of the ones I've collected is only here and available as a trade paperback, and it's actually Catwoman the game volume one. Now I'll just clarify here at this stage that my new 52 collection isn't every single new 52 graphic or trade paperback or hardcover that's ever been released, just the ones that I like. And as such, most of them are hardcovers. Unfortunately, this one, which is volume one of the Catwoman running the new 52 called The Game, written by Judd Winnick, is really good. I really enjoy it. I'm aware critically it was quite divisive, but it's always a matter of taste. And so I wanted it in my collection. The problem is, as you can see from these pictures, that it's very much a case of it's only available as a trade paperback. And that means it has a very particular sort of spine. That means that it's slightly shallower than most hardcovers would be and slightly um, shorter as well. So it really does stand out on the shelf. And as you can see here from the video and so on as well, um, it's just a trade paperback that I have to work with. So what does it mean to turn this into a hardcover and design a dress jacket? Well, first things first, let's look at the cover image. So this cover image is one that I've always really disliked. I find the color palette a bit jarring. I find the pose of Selena Kyle really just uncomfortable and just seems very unnatural. Um, the artwork, the style of it, just none of it appeals to me. But with most of these things, if you don't like the cover for a hardcover or a trade paperback, you're kind of stuck with it. In this case, I thought, actually, given I'm redesigning it and I'll be making it into a hardcover, why should I have to stick with an image I don't like? And to wit, what I did is I looked throughout the issues that comprise um, Volume 1, the game, and I decided to find some images I preferred much more. So here's the image I eventually settled on as um, the front cover of the dust jacket. Now, this is just a single full-page splash from the second issue within the story arc. Um, as you can see, it still has kind of a sexualized theme to it, but it's much more muted. The color palette is much better. The proportion make much more sense. So this is what I wanted to go with. Obviously, I can't use that as a cover for my dust jacket because it would look ridiculous. So the first thing to do is to clean up the image. As you can see here, I've cleaned out all the background. It's nice and white, so it's got a slight J. Lee sort of feel in terms of just being backgroundless, which I prefer. After that, you then need to add the logo. So I've added the logo here as Catwoman horizontally up the side, just kind of experimenting because there's a lot of empty space on the side. However, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work well with the way the bodies are figured, with the overlap and various colours and so on. So I decided to have it just running across the bottom of the page. The problem with that is that a large part of the bottom of the page is quite dark in colour and so the logo is getting lost. I got around that by changing half the logo into a pure white. So whereas cat is in black, the woman is in blue and white. And so it really stands out and pops and I was really happy with that. Um, and so once that image was flattened and saved, I just added a few art assets to make it look more like a cover. So you've got the DC Peel logo and then the New 52 um, little sort of um, image or infographic that they used throughout this era. It's actually not quite a rapid overview of how to make a dust jacket. It's because I'm not sure how interested people would be in actually going through the mechanics of what software to use and what tools to use and sort of how you would do that. If anyone is interested, please just give me a shout and um, I can do a future video on that as well. Looking at the back cover of the paperback here, you'll see it's got pretty much the standard new 52 layout. So the top half of it is an image from the issues within, and then it's got some blurb and the usual sort of text and so on. I don't have a problem with that. However, I thought given I'm redesigning the front, I now have the option to redesign the back. And so I had a chance to look and think throughout the issues within and decide if there were any images I preferred. And to wit, I found this page. Now this again is from issue two of the game. And it's got five long widescreen style panels of um, the scene between Selena and Bruce Wayne um, that leads to the image which is then used on the new dust jacket. 
And I really like some of the images here. Of course, the problem is they've all got little text boxes around them and so on and so forth. But again, using the right photo editing software, it's easy to clean that up. So I decided to use two of these images, that one, which is all nice and cleaned up now, and then the lower one as well. And I thought it'd be really good to have those contrasting on the back to make a dust jacket with a little bit of a difference. For anyone that's seen my previous videos, especially the one about um, my Throne of Atlantis bind, you'll know that I tend to pick my DCPO logo from this group of DCPO logos that I have on record. Um, and for this particular bind, given that Catwoman's sort of thematic colour tends to be purple, I went for the Purple Pill logo. So let's have a look at the video. Let's uh, see what the actual finished product looked like. You can see here that I've got the dust jacket on the side um, and that covers there. The um, finished product is actually here just being flicked through. Again, you can see it's a hard cover. Having it bound in a stiff, hard um, buckram fabric, which is just plain black. It's not embossed. It's not blocked out. It's not stamped. Nothing like that. Makes it nice and simple and inexpensive. And then you put it inside the dust jacket. Dust jacket here, the cover is exactly as I designed and showed. And the back there you'll see he's got the top and bottom images and then the blurb in the middle. Again, it makes it just look a little bit different, but also quite classy and quite polished there. So that's the finished product. When I put it in my shelf, I will completely confess to you, it doesn't look absolutely perfect. And the reason for that is that it was a little bit narrow to get the DCPL logo to actually fit on the side of it. Um, as such, it's a little bit frustrating that it doesn't quite fit in with the rest of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If I'm going to have another go at it and see if I can somehow make that pale logo fit. Or perhaps for the other volumes in my new 52 collection that I'm going to be converting from paperback to hardcover. If I should also keep that with the same sort of theme at the bottom. But again, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and what you think maybe I should do next. Well, that's all I wanted to show you guys, and um, that's the end of the video, and it's just a quick video to show you that you shouldn't feel constrained by the usual binding video you see on YouTube in terms of how to make or adjust or, or custom finish your comics. Really, the sky is the limit, and in this case, if I wanted to make a paperback into a hardcover, there's absolutely no problem in doing that. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Please share the video more widely if you're on any Facebook groups or Instagram groups that might be interested. And as always, please support the channel by checking out my episodic novel on Amazon.com. It's called No Gods or Kings. The first four episodes are already out and each episode costs less than a dollar. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay classy.